In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to open a door in a video and then have another world appear on the other side of the door. Please look at the following example and then we'll show you how to do this. This tutorial comes as a request of one of my subscribers. We're using an elevator door. You could use a hinged door. The principles will be the same. So the first thing we want to do is place our video of the opening door on track number two. And I've done that with the elevator door. Then on track number one, we're going to place the clip of the world we want to see when the door opens. So having done that, I'm going to go to track number two with my door. Click on the Tools button above the timeline and choose Crop, Zoom, and Pan. What I want the camera to do is look inside and magnify what's on the other side of the door. That's not my default here. So I'm going to move my mouse by clicking on this lower timeline about to the frame where the door starts to open. And then I'll click the plus by a diamond to set a keyframe. Then we have a position value. I notice I am about 25 frames into my project. Let's click over here for another one. And on this one, I'll click the diamond again below. And then we'll zoom in a little tighter on my elevator. Click right here and cent try to center it. Then we'll move over a ways farther. Click the, di the diamond again at the very bottom, set a keyframe, and then we're going to zoom in right to the back wall of the elevator. Now, if we play this as it is, basically all we're going to see is we zoom in on the elevator, if you look in the upper right corner, and stare at the back wall. Well, that won't be the case when we do our next step. I'm going to click on OK. So the next step is to highlight that same clip, the door. Click on Tools again, but this time choose the Mask Designer. And so I'm going to add a mask. I'll click the rectangular square to add a larger mask and I want to make sure I have invert mask chosen. Then I'm going to go to my time code, type in 25. That's where my door begins to open and we're going to set a position keyframe by clicking on the diamond by that value and a scale keyframe. Now I need to adjust it to be just as wide as that tiny slit in the door which is virtually nothing right here. So that's where I'm going to set that value. Uh, another thing I might want to do just to make sure I don't have anything odd, I can go back just a little bit. I'm going to set an opacity value. And I'm going to make sure my opacity is down to zero. Click on Object Settings, Mask Opacity, turn it to zero. Then I'm going to move over to my first keyframe and then I'm going to turn it back up to 100%. Okay, now I'm going to move over a ways when the door is open farther and it looks like I'm going to need to change this to match where the edges of the door are. All I do is slide over. Again on a hinged door, you do the same technique in a slightly different way. And we'll move over farther and it looks like on this frame it's pretty much wide open on both sides. Yes it is. Okay, so that's taken care of. So then what I do is I I practice my cut in half. I go 50% between the keyframes to make minor adjustments. And we'll see where it should be here. There's the left side right there. And then we adjust the right side accordingly. And we just keep splitting the difference between the keyframe sets uh, to get a smooth fluid motion. Now in this tutorial, we're not going to finesse the whole thing. But we're just showing you a little bit about how to do it to make it so it doesn't look too rough. The more keyframes you set, the more fluid the motion will seem when you're done. Let's see, that's wide open there. And over here, yeah, it's wide open, so I don't need to set any more on that part. I probably, sh probably should set one about here. And there's the left side of the door, and over here is the right side. Okay, so I'll click on OK when I'm done. So I've... Uh, done my crop and zoom on the video and then I've adjusted my mask to fit the movement of the doors. Let's see what happens when we play this. Okay, we could tweak it a little bit. I saw a little little bit where it wasn't the way it should be, 
But when we stop and play again, we're going to see that basically we're opening the door, zooming in to our whole new world on the other side. And that's how you perform this kind of transition in CyberLink PowerDirector.